Welcome to Global Social News, a channel that brings you all the latest updates, news, information and celebrity gist. You want to subscribe? Now let's dive into the news of today. The Lagos State Police Command has arrested and taken Aziz Fashola, aka Naira Mali, into custody for interrogation over the death of singer Ilaria Lua Promise, known as Mobad. The command's spokesperson, Benjamin Hundayan, announced this on his ex-handle Tuesday night. He said, Aziz Fashola, aka Naira Mali, has been taken into custody for interrogation and other investigation activities. Naira Mali is one of the people suspected to have had issues with the late 27-year-old before his death. Mobad was affiliated with Naira Mali's record label, Malian Music, from which he departed in October 2022. Apart from Naira Mali, the Lagos State Police Command had arrested a music promoter, Balagun Olamilekan Aletu, known as Sam Larry, who many accused of having a rift with Mobad. Police arrested him at the Matala Muhammad Airport after he arrived in Nigeria from Nairobi, Kenya, at about 10 p.m. on September 28 and took him into custody. However, Naira Mali and Sam Larry have sternly denied having a hand in Mobad's death. In a statement shared by Naira Mali on Tuesday, September 26, through his official Instagram account, he said individuals had accused him of being responsible for Mobad's demise. He argued that, like everyone else, he had been shocked by the tragedy. In the last few days, there has been a lot of onslaught on my person and reputation globally over the death of my former signee. All manner of stories have been woven against me in respect of his untimely death. I have not only been in shock over the death of the deceased, whom I considered to be my brother and member of our music family, but over the various lies spread and threats against me. Before I progress further, let me say that as it is traumatic for a lot of people to bear the reality of Clary's death, so it is to me. May his gentle soul continue to rest in peace, and may God grant his family the fortitude to bear the irreparable loss, he stated. He also emphasized that while he had disagreements with the late singer, they never escalated to harboring ill wishes towards anyone, and they were actively pursuing a legal resolution to their disputes. Similarly, Sam Larry distanced himself from any link with Mobad's passing. He said, I did not kill Mobad, I love him too much, and God sees my heart, I do not know anything about Mobad's death. He said he loved Mobad's family and would not partake in what would take his life. The socialite also responded to trending videos where he was seen harassing the deceased. He described the videos as old. Those videos circulating online are old, even that video that showed him and Zlatan sitting in a wheelchair. Zlatan is my witness, you can call Zlatan to ask him if I laid my hands on Mobad. I did not. In the video of him in a club, it was his friend I was having a conversation with. If you watch the video, you will see a few bounces begging Mobad to stop the argument because I had started settling the crisis. The ICIR reported how Nigerians protested Mobad's death, forcing the police to investigate his killing. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sanwo Olu also engaged the state security service to support the police to conduct a thorough job on the probe. The ICIR reported how the police announced the exhumation of the deceased corpse for autopsy. Now, I will wrap up here. Let's us know what you think about this situation. Don't forget to subscribe and press the like button.